Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back. Let's play some more of our Dutch World Conquest attempt here in EU4. And, uh, <clears throat> got a little bit of a frog in my throat, so I apologize for that. So apparently I have Jan as a uh, tributary, which I don't need. So I'm going to go ahead and, uh, just cancel that. Yes. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm thinking, I do have some rebels here. But I think probably what's in my best interest, because this is the land that's giving me a lot of overextension. Specifically the provinces that they have... Siege down over here. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I'm going to march some guys up there <clears throat> in an attempt to um, forego a little bit of this. And I'm just going to give a couple of them to Min. Um, aside from that, we just need to hold on because we do have rebels kind of all over the place. Um, so we have some down here, which are going to get taken care of. These guys are working their way up into Yemen territory. We are sieging down Lisboa. We have... Guys coming over here to handle these guys, and we have mercs getting ready to come up here, so I think we're good. Coalition has disbanded. We won the Siege of Lisboa. And I believe it's Imperialism, so... <clears throat> I think what I want to do with them, specifically, is I want to take all of their land. It is Imperialism, so it's going to be pretty cheap to take it all. Obviously, I don't want to take it right now, because... We're super overextended and we're like imploding right now, but we're going to take like all this land overseas and then the intent is to eat them in one foul swoop in the next war. Reduce them to like, you know, an OPM of sorts, something like this. Um, and then what is their cost of full annexation? I should say like right here. Oh, wow. Okay, so then we'll be able to full annex them in the next war. We'll just need our vassals to beat up on his his vassals, which <clears throat> we have some men down here if we need to do anything with that as well. So speaking of that, we should we should do that. So let's get all you guys sorted out. Do we have any unrest over here? We do. So let's go ahead and suppress some rebels. What's the unrest normally? it would be like five or something like that. Okay, so that should be fine. Okay, more overextension events, like you do. Let's go ahead and have you guys suppress rebels over here. <clears throat> yeah, this overextension issue is uh, quite sticky. I uh, made a mistake. Let's see, I think they can hold on. Oh shoot, no they cannot. Wow, stack wiped, really? Okay, well, let's get all these guys grouped up and see if we can beat up on him this way. Okay, more separatists over here, which is fine. I can handle that, no problem. Um, <clears throat> I just need to make sure that I don't have rebels in like random provinces that I'm not aware of. Okay, for some reason they're not going where they're supposed to be going, so... Let's go ahead and get you over there. Um... Of course he has his men here. Jeez, oh Pete. Hennegon. Alright, that's fine. Go ahead and get you guys over there. They are split up now. There, These guys are actually on a fort, so this is fine with me. And we just got stack wiped by rebels. Wow. Okay, cool. Well, you win some, you lose some, I suppose. Let's go ahead and get those guys sorted out over here. <clears throat> we don't need to force march here. We have rebels down here at 40 stack. Jeez, oh Pete, man. Let's, uh, let's see here. Where is this at? Mentawai? Really? I have unrest over here. I have a lot of unrest. Oh no, that's devastation. Just randomly. Right. Make sure everything is in the correct trade nodes. Okay. <clears throat> So this stuff will be done this month. Our overextension is still just ridiculous. 
Okay, this one is it's not any more ridiculous. So I think I will just give Min one province here. Because we're at war, so we can't. Of course we can't. <clears throat> hmm. Do I have anything? Okay, so this one will be done very soon. It's not going to put us below our threshold, though. Shoot. This is tough. <clears throat> you go over your overextension cap one time and all of a sudden the world is ending. So Min is disloyal as well. Certainly should just improve relations with them. We should be fine. Should be fine. There's some claims we can make on Balmanis. Hopefully it'll be high dev stuff. That's a good one. That's a good one. We don't need that anymore. Ayutaya, do we have any? We don't have any. Oh, we do. Just these two. <clears throat> Looks like I can course something. No, this stuff is all inland. Man. Okay, so these guys should be good to go. Okay. Those guys are done. Okay, so do I have more rebels somewhere? Gosh, this is so annoying. Oh, of course, as soon as I leave. Okay, screw you guys. <sighs> These rebels are gonna be the death of me. The death of my psyche, at least. I have a military idea group, so I really don't want to be doing that, but <clears throat> I'm going to lose my mind if I have to deal with any more rebels. Okay, let's get Philippe's over there. Okay, do we have any good policies worth taking? Are we annexing anybody? I don't believe we are. Are we? No, we're not. Diplo rep, available mercs. Uh, mercenary maintenance would be nice. How much money are we spending on mercs? Oh yeah, that would save us some money. For one diplo point a month, I think it's worth. Do we even need this one? Yeah. All right, so that'll be helpful. Plus the extra diplomat is nice as well, not to be underestimated. So let's actually have you there instead of you. Put you like in charge of that one. Okay, very good. I think we win this one no problem. A little bit closer than I'd like to admit. Oh my gosh. Now we're definitely gonna have him out. So this should be... <clears throat> He's gonna get another reinforcement tick. Oh man, this is gonna drive me nuts. Had some more rebels somewhere and I don't know where. Of course they're right there. I wouldn't, naturally. The Oyo ones. Okay, so these guys are on a Highlands Fort, so I should be able to handle them pretty easily. I will get there before the end of the month. So it's a stack wipe. Beautiful. Noop Separatists. Okay, we'll be, we'll be able to take those guys out in one foul swoop. <clears throat> Let's get uh, you there since you have the maneuver. Let's just do that. I'm going nuts. We getting rid of these rebels over here? We are.
I could really use a little bit of more admin efficiency. Lesson learned, man. Do not go over your limit, your cap. Will ruin your life. These guys are still losing over here too. I'm just gonna have to send a couple of mercs over there to uh, siege them down. Okay. <clears throat> Definitely need more navy as well. I can piece this out whenever. Just need to let my uh, overextension tick down a little bit. Oh my gosh. These fun events, I tell you what. I think these guys were gonna go on a mission. Nope, they're sieging that down currently. Hmm. Yeah, it works though because they cannot get to my guys capitals like these forts are impeccable these forts not so much well they're okay actually let's get you guys no okay whatever I feel like they locked in immediately like instantly locked in it was kind of weird but Right now we're just waiting on overextension so we can peace out. So right now it's September. When will we have overextension that's manageable? Not till July of next year. Is there a way that I can lower my overextension? I can't think of anything. Unless I just like return a core, which I don't think I can do when I'm at war. Hmm. Okay, let's get these guys grouped up. Luckily, he's on the fourth there, which is good. No general either, so. Okay. So this stuff is all finally going to go back to coring. Yemen. We're not going to get on their capital ever, so we're just going to have to make our way down and see if we can kill some people. More separatists in China. Like, oh, come on. Oh my gosh. Dude, I'm actually going to lose my mind. These freaking events. I'm just going to pay for it. I don't care. Give me full... Unrest reduction. Please, for the love of God. Enough with the rebels. Okay, let's get you there. You guys should not be over here taking attrition. Let's find you some farmlands. There we go. Just whatever. Just defend this area. This general vicinity. Okay. Just being slightly overextended is just like, like look at that, 45% chance, really? Really, that doesn't seem right. Okay, so let's get you guys over there, have you loop back up there. And we'll get a couple of mercs over here to uh, handle these sieges. Okay, very good. More rebels somewhere. Don't care. I'll get to it when I get to it. I feel bad that this entire episode is just going to be dedicated to me trying to kill rebels. Where were those rebels at? Let's see. Oh, of course. Hopefully they go on that fort. They are what? Messina? Nah, they're not even going to go for that fort. I'm done, man. Jeez, oh Pete. We got these rebels over here. Well, I suppose I could defend over here. Now I'll have to take that fort back on my own.
Rebels over there. All right, so let's piece this one out. These, This land is all going to go to him, so it's fine. I just need to be out of that war, man. It's driving me nuts. They can handle those rebels. I don't care about them. What tech? I should probably switch to mill, hey? Definitely. Whew. All right. They didn't take any forts, so I can just build a couple of mercs down here. I don't know where those ones just popped up. So I think they'll attack me on the fort here. Good, so then I can send these guys back up this way. Those guys should get all sorted out. Wait. No, I don't want this. Dutch Louisiana. Feels bad, man. Okay, so far so good. Can you please attack me while I'm taking this? You guys have a lot of men that I don't want to mess around with. So next, oh, finally. Let's start coring all this stuff. What an absolute disaster that has been. I've learned my lesson. There they go, now they're gonna attack my all merc army. Beautiful. Thank you. Jeez, oh, Pete. Alright, so. Let's have these guys come up here. I have not been able to pay attention to this war at all. I'm just gonna piece him out. I'm not gonna be able to get on his capital, so. It's a waste of time. But, now the Ottomans are gonna guarantee their independence. So I'm gonna have to, in my next war, revoke that, obviously. So I'm just trying to think of what my next move is. Obviously getting all of my rebels situation sorted out. Oh, they did go over to that fort, so that's good. That means we can just come over here and then loop our boy back there. Um, <clears throat> so as our overextension goes down, we'll be able to see where we're at with uh, Portugal. Let's go ahead and switch to stability. See if we can get rid of as much unrest as possible. There we go. Okay, wait a couple more months here. Because this one will go back because of our fort there. Okay. And we randomly have 40,000 rebels over here. Very nice. Do we have any ships over here that we can use to transport? Oh my gosh. What in the world? These absolute turds, man. Subjects nations. Seemingly more trouble than they're worth. Alright, let's see here. Let's have you guys do that. go. Have you guys come over here. Okay, they're making their way. So what's our overextension? 28, so we can handle that, right? Yeah, we can handle that. No, no we cannot. Nope, that's 23, so I need to wait. This one will allow it to work. There you go. And we'll keep a short truce. We'll just take that. Um, and then we're gonna need to put everything that we just took into trade company regions.
very good. Whew, we are now at peace. We're finally at peace, and we can actually take some time to think about what we want to do. So, I would like to annex him, but I don't think that's going to happen anytime soon. Okay. So. Some more African lands is always nice to have. New World is an absolute mess. And then my, uh, my vassals are quite literally just being so useless. New Netherlands has no... Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna subsidize them a little bit. Like, um, 24. It's fine. Please just, like, raise an army. Alright. I don't need these mercs up here anymore, though. I suppose it is... Oh, what? Guaranteed by Spain and allied to France. Okay. So we do have some forts protecting all this All this land. We get siege down by Toya, but that would be it. Um, I can probably just build up a merc army down here, and they won't be able to do anything. So that will handle that. Uh, let's see here. French morale is... What is that? Six? Six to my six and a half. Give or take. I'll be able to get tech before them as well. Okay. I think I can manage that. So we'll keep these mercs up here. They're going to be responsible for taking them down. We don't need all of them though. Shire? Where's that? Oh, what? Okay. Alright, so do we have any major unrest? We're looking good. Trondalog? Where's that? Like, over here? Oh, se rebel sep separatist? Yeah, rebel sentiment. Russia would not join. Prussia would. Truce, of course. Suppose maybe we could start looking into dismantling the HRE, but that's going to be such a pain in the butt. And at this point, I'm more kind of in the thought of like, do I care about aggressive expansion anymore? Because nobody's even close to us. I'm going to need to betray Russia, but I think if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it by like attacking Austria. Russia won't join. He's in so much debt. Hmm. trying to think of how I should do this. He's guaranteeing Sweden, so I think that's how I'll break that alliance. But he's in so much debt that he'll never actually recover. Like, he'll never join it. I don't know, maybe if he goes bankrupt he would join. It's hard to say. Alright. Well, I think France is definitely the next move, so let's go ahead and get you guys gooped up there. Let's go ahead and have you guys over here. Killing off rebels. Okay. More separatists, like they do. These guys have so many rebels. Let's see here. Can I get this sorted by? Nope. It's not going to work. I know 1.3 has a lot of quality of life improvements coming, and I really would like to see something done about this interface. get something that's not like okay let's just go the shortest time so I'm just gonna do it like that I don't care all right so France does not have a big army 
Nope. 50,000 men. So I'm going to declare it right now. Provence, Scotland, Papal State. Who's Pope Man Ally to? Alsace, Frankfurt, Switzerland. Okay. I don't know. It might be worth it. Because I'll probably do just this war and I will release a client state that I'm going to end up feeding a bunch of European land to because it's super hard to develop and it'll save me a ton of Diplo. Um, okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's get Philippe's on there and get uh, Bloodbound on this one. This is good though. I need to do this because I need to break up the uh, possible coalition. Japan would join, but I don't care about them. And then after this war, we are going to start the annexation progress of uh, Min. No general, but we should be fine to stack wipe them. Let's get my navy up there. Do we have naval superiority? Certainly. Stuff coming under the occupation of France. Okay. Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Really? They're gonna do the dog pile method. Of course they are. Okay. So he's not gonna get a, a tick, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this. It's grassland, so we might be able to even get- Ooh, wait, 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 whoa, whoa. Let's go ahead and do that. They're gonna reinforce. Of course they freaking reinforce every time. Oh, I'm tilted. They can always reinforce in time. There's always some turds that are just ready to force march and just jump on you. All right. Hmm. So as far as I know, there's no rebels that I need to worry about, right? Kong separatists. Oh, those guys teleported. All right, so let's get you out of there. Aside from that, you should be good. Hada separatists, of course. Jamaican separatists? Yes. Let's go sort these guys out over here. Portuguese Louisiana, so I'm gonna handle those. These Cato ones are gonna be problematic. I'm gonna have to merc up for them. Oh, I guess not really. I can get him to join in, so that'll be fine. Okay. Dude. Oh, this game is so just infuriating sometimes with all the amount of men that people just throw in like this. If I don't get an overrun on these guys, I'm just gonna like leave the game. I didn't get a reinforcement tick or morale. Don't know why you're force marching. You should not be. Just being reckless, I guess. Okay. They're never gonna win this siege. But they have all those men just sitting there, just waiting. We have Philippe's here, so we have the Superior General. Might be a stack wipe. Perfect. That's what we needed. All right. Much better. We'll probably just separate peace Scotland. His uh, capital is being sieged by rebels, which is kind of funny.
Lost the Siege of Anjou. Of course we did. So he's got five maneuver, so that means if they don't reinforce, they're going to take a river crossing, but they're going to reinforce because they have force march everything. Hmm. All right. So, apparently France, despite the fact that they have significantly lower morale than me, by a lot. They're still going to be able to do stuff like that to me. Hmm. Interesting. Alright, well let's uh, go ahead and get some more mercs up here. We're going to switch these men all over here to men. Uh, all of them will be mercs after this. So let's see here. Let's go. Oh, let's go with you guys. Let's detach the mercs. You will all be disbanded. There we go. So this is an all merc army now. Should be much better off. Let's go ahead and turn on defensiveness here, and here, and here, and here. So their siege tick should be quite long now. Nope, never mind. They're innovative offensive, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Like you do. I think I'm just gonna have to separate piece people out. I think that's kind of my only real option. Uh, Japan could join. I don't think they're gonna help with a whole lot though. Hmm. I'm just thinking. Because regardless of what I do... See, these guys will have to, um... Okay, so they won't break the siege. It's nice. They have a 6-3, we have a 6-4. They have a lot less cannons than we do. No, not a lot less. They actually have more cannons. Uh, about even. So I think with our morale advantage, we should be able to win this one then, right? Let's see here. Nope, he's reinforcing. But we are winning. Nope. It's close. Hmm. Really? It's impressive how many men we just lost right there. And we only fled like one one square over? That doesn't make sense at all. Hmm. Alright, Scotland is gonna get separate peace now. For a full annexation. Handled my rebels for me. You're a good man. Hmm. Do I need any of these buildings? So far, I think we're doing good. Need to take a break from that war. I'm going nuts over here. Okay. Uh, is there anything up here that needs it still? Because I said I'm probably not going to spend it on that just because I have so much... Um... Oh wait, we have level 8 forts. Oh, we do not have level 8 forts. 
I'm close to Miltech. He hasn't taken it, right? Could that be really be why? No. So at the end of this month, I'll be able to get it, I think. It'll be very close. Next month? Two months? So we'll get two months of reinforcement and we'll be able to uh, stack wipe a few more of their armies. Don't know where those rebels just popped up. So let's get a stack wipe on these guys here. They're gonna break that siege, which is really good for me. Stack wiped a bunch of them. Come over here, see if we can stack wipe a few more. They're gonna reinforce because they always do. It's a lot of men to be taking attrition like that. They've lost 200,000 men. Goodness gracious. At least my manpower is recovering. I think I need more cannons though. There we go. I should probably navally invade. Let's go ahead and navally invade Pope Man. There's no cannons in that army. So it's actually probably not helpful, but it'll at least distract them. They're looking a lot better now. Our income is certainly good that we can uh, subsidize our vassals if we need to at all. California. Dutch Brazil is good. Cuba is good. Dutch Mexico has some debt that I'll pay off. Min has no debt. They have almost 70,000 men. That's crazy. China is literally just so OP. I want to get started on annexing them as soon as possible. Might be a stack wipe, probably not though. They're going to actually reinforce this. I'm done, dude. I'm done. I'm never going to go to war with France again. They literally just keep reinforcing everything. I'm curious how many military points that they've spent on uh, reinforcements. Or on Force March, I mean. Get you guys all grouped up. Let's get another reinforcement tick. So Frankfurt's leaving, so this might actually be my chance. Hopefully a stack wipe. Nope, he's reinforcing. And then he's gonna get in. Cool. Yep. They're flanking me now. I mean, they lost a lot more than I did in that one. I just need to be careful about losing my cannons. Okay. Let's go ahead and just land on Rome. to see if we can distract them. At least they're not sieging Calais anymore. Probably be getting some spy network on them anyways. So that should be a stack wipe. We're gonna go into Calais. Get an advantageous fight there. Their general is really good. Our general is really good. We win that one to one, but they're gonna reinforce. Because they always do. So Scotland, you ready to peace out, friend? Maybe I leave them as like an OPM, like down here. It's fine. 
need to make sure that I'm continuing to conquer land. Pope Man was um, co belligerented, so. I don't want to spend the mill, so I'm not going to. I'm just going to call Japan in. Do we have any unrest up here? Nope, we're good. Okay, this has been a super long episode. I lost track of time. This war has been like driving me crazy, so I'm gonna call it there. Hope you guys are enjoying. Don't forget to show your support. Leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Check out the Discord and the Patreon. Links are in the description down below. With all that being said, this is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later. Big special thanks to my top supporters on Patreon, Bloodbound92, as well as Udaldo, Jaron Clampett, Corbett Gaming, Classified for Life, Airborne Animal, Lambda Driver, Damian Hartvig, and others for your awesome support. I appreciate you very much. There's going to be a couple of series linked on the right over there, and I think you might appreciate them. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll catch you guys later.